When you find a 3.5 million year old bacteria strain, what do you do? You inject it, of course. In 2009, a 3.5 million year old bacteria strain called Bacillus F was discovered deep in the permafrost of Siberia. Scientists soon after started doing tests. They injected mice, they injected fruit flies. I don't know how you inject a fruit fly, but they did it. And they exposed this bacteria to these animals. And guess what? They actually started to realize that not only did it boost their immune system, allowing them to live longer, but it actually allowed them to stay fertile longer into their life. So we're starting to see that this million, millions of year old uh, bacteria is actually very beneficial for the body. So naturally, Anatoly Brokchov, he's the head of geocryology at the geocryology department at Moscow State University. He decided to take things a step further, take it to the next level, and he just, without much testing being done, he injected himself with this bacteria strain that we don't know much about other than it's helped mice and fruit flies. And now he says he feels great. He's on a mission to find the fountain of youth. He's saying that it exists. A bacteria that is immortal, immortal beings could be a possibility. Um, he's saying that this uh, Bacillus F, it doesn't die. To be more precise, it just protects itself very well. What do you think? It's crazy. I mean, it's not surprising. We've been obsessed with living forever since the beginning of humanity. There's Roman myths, there are Greek myths, they all talk about living forever. Yeah. And we see today that there's many tech moguls putting their money actually to find ways for them to live forever. And one, one of the, I mean, this, this research is, is wild, yeah. you can call it fringe. You, know, yeah. you have a person injecting himself with an untested bacteria, tested on animals to see if he can live forever. But on the other hand, we have people like Greg Corswell coming out with singularities near this book that become oh, revolutionary, yeah. talking about that moment where human life is going to match technology and it's going to be pretty much the same thing. Virtual yeah. reality and reality won't be separated right. from, by anything. We will be just one thing, singularity. It's also this concept that if we get to around 2056 or 2046, in good health, technology will be able to allow one more year of life expectancy every year. So technically, they will be able to maintain your body in its shape when that process started. So we are obsessed with living forever, and we will do anything to achieve it many different ways. This one, a lot of people will say, like, if you, you know, what is the possibilities of this bacteria actually producing a disease, yeah. an eternal disease? Right. There's no cure for it. There's no cure. The bacteria itself can live forever. That's awesome. That's mind-blowing. But I want to know why. And I think further research needs to be done into this bacteria of what keeps it alive and kicking. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? What's the reason? It's not just the bacteria alone. There must be a different way that this organism... Mechanism. Yeah. There has to be a different way that it operates that allows it to live and protect itself for so long. As for the possible dangers, Mr. Brokchov shrugs it off. He says... The Yakut people living in that region in Siberia, they're exposed to this stuff when the permafrost melts every year, and they're doing just fine. He says he hasn't had a cold yet, and he feels great, so that obviously means that this bacteria is going to help him it's live longer. It's a new flu shot. Yeah, it's a Better new flu shot. Better than the one the last year before. Exactly. Yeah. It's the new everything shot. Remember that story I did about yeah. how the North Koreans reportedly have solved everything with that ginseng? Yeah, ginseng. <laughs> yeah. ginseng. Same thing. No, well, honestly, I'm joking, but I really hope this does work, and I hope um, Antoli Brokchov just did something great for humanity by injecting himself Hopefully. and making himself into a human guinea pig. Let us know what you guys uh, have to say in the comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the LipTV2 for more.